Hi, so my name is Daniel and I decided to film some of the little moments of my life. So, a little story time. I was recently hospitalized and went through a major surgery and so I had to rest and recover um, physically and of course mentally. So while I was on break from work and when I was already able to move around, I wanted to share some of the things I did during this time and I also wanted to share um, some of the things I have been pondering and most of it come from the book Notes from the Valley by Andy McKitty. So here it goes, if only and nevertheless. We can live our lives in the if only perspective. If only life would be better. If only I have this and that. If only I am this or like that. If only, if only would ever come. But fullness of life doesn't come in the if only, but in the nevertheless. Nevertheless, in spite of that, even so, still nonetheless. The default mode of a human soul is to never be completely satisfied. Just a little bit more of if only that we are sure will push us to a perfect life. If only I have this, if only that didn't happen, then I would live my purpose in life. I would live a perfect life. But now is the time. Today is a day to live. For today is where our great God of comfort and grace resides. Carpe diem. Seize the day, nevertheless. What makes Jesus' call unique from the typical carpe diem is that it is in the context of unresolved issues, uncompelled dreams, unmitigated tensions, and unfulfilled goals. Is the day anyway. Jesus says, follow me nevertheless. The fullness of life that God is for us comes not in the if only, but in the nevertheless.